Hey guys, it's John in Brooklyn. We're back out at Casey Farms. Uh, we're on week three of the Cornish Cross update. So we're gonna get to weighing those in just a minute, but we finished a project and I wanted to show you our new quack shack really quick. Um, so it is permanent. And the reason we went permanent and we're right outside the orchard here is because the ducks are free range and they just go wherever they want. I was cleaning out the quack shack anyway because it had a floor in the bottom. So we'll just be cleaning this one out. And this is just a simple structure. You can see on the back, We've left it open a little bit for some ventilation, but um, free, minus the metal. We paid for the metal just to make sure it's dry inside. But we built this out of pallets. You can see I've just put the pallets together. We use pallets on the roof. Isaiah's got a stick up in there. Um, so it's all pallets. And we got two ducks in here laying, hopefully. But we put just hay on one side, they've made nests. We've noticed our eggs are a lot cleaner now that we are in here and it is dry all the time. So just pallets together. We angled the one up for the roof, just like we did on the uh, pig, the pig shelter that we built for the farrowing area. Or farrowing, not sure which one. Rick, Patty helped me out there, but uh, so this is the new quack shack and it is right outside of the orchard so we can use that water again when it gets dirty and we're gonna water the trees in there. So the orchard's doing actually really well. Need to mow the grass, but it's just been raining so much we can't even mow. But uh, here is the new quack shack. So let's head on over and we are going to grab another chicken. For the week three weigh-in uh if you've seen the last video we've got them outside permanently now and it got cold it was down in the 40s yesterday night and rainy um but they are all huddled, huddled together and they're feathering out nice and they're doing really well so uh we'll jump in here and grab one take it in for our week three weigh-in So if you guys weren't familiar, the setup we have here, we started the uh, meat shaw back here and every day we just move it one spot. And I put the shade cloth up and that detracts uh, any aerial predators from coming in and snatching one up. Um, we lost some last year, if you recall, to, we thought it was an owl that happened at night. So the shade cloth helps. After tomorrow, we'll move this again down the line and they'll have another fresh area so let's get in and grab one of these guys for the weigh-in and just a reminder we got one of our frozen birds out fawn for dinner and it looks delicious and here's where they are so let's put him up three weeks go ahead sit This before he poops on the freezer. Let me zero this out. Hopefully he won't poop on yep. the scale. Okay. So week three, we are over a pound, 1.2 pounds. 1.2 pounds and in eight weeks, there we are. So that is quite awesome. Let's grab him and take him back out with his friends. What were we at? 1.2 pounds. Go ahead, let's go and take him back out. So pretty sweet. We have five more weeks until we get to butcher weight. Um, but super excited to have them outside. And I know they're excited to be outside. So put him back with his buddies. Remember, we got all males from Valley Farms Hatchery. And we still, this is the first time ever, whether it's been from Valley Farms or anywhere else, that we have never lost a Cornish cross. So fingers crossed that they'll all be healthy and grow out. But super excited about that. 1.2 pounds after three weeks. Uh, just real quick, here's the old quack shack. Haven't cleaned it out yet. We took off the sides and used it on our new stuff. 
I just don't have the heart to break it all the way down yet. I figure I might be able to use that for something in the future, so we will see. Um, also, we've got the 22 eggs in the in the incubator that are the ducks that we're planning on hatching out, so lots going on. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and check us out on Instagram. All right, guys, thanks for following along.